The host of the classroom, Richard Curtis. Oh, I am. Whoa, that's it, baby. Throw it up. What's up, dude? Good to see you. Hi, good to see you. And teachers and they're wearing the matching blue. I love when they show up in matching outfits. The most teacher thing ever. Hey, welcome in, everybody at home. Big news because we have these students and we have three teachers from Philadelphia Electrical and Technology Charter High School in Center City, right here in Philly. They just entered the classroom to show their pitch students versus their all time favorite teachers. And can you believe who they showed up with today? It's been insane in this studio. I've been loving it. Hey, today, $500 is on the line, but the students do not care. They want those bragging rights. Before we meet our contestants, I have to see who studied. We're going for a pop quiz. <laughs> All right, guys, let's do this. Grab your buzzers. Big game today. We have 90 seconds on the clock. We're going to get through as many questions as we can. Each correct answer is going to bank you 10 points for your overall score. If you buzz in first, just wait until I call your name to answer. If you get it wrong, the other side can jump on their buzzers and steal those 10 points. Pop quiz. We're going to start it right now. What company's mascot? Is a pink bunny banging a drum that keeps going and going. Akia. Um. Dang. Oh. oh my. Sorry, Maybe. teachers for the steal. Miss Chrysler. Energizer. It keeps going and going. She wanted it. She wanted it. Holden Caulfield is the main character in what book? Mr. Springle. Catcher in the Rye. Catcher in the Rye. Back to back teacher there. What is the first and last name of the actress who vo voices Kolka in the movie Smallfoot and stars in Jane the Virgin? It's a tough one. We're looking for Gina Rodriguez, was the answer there. What do we call the first day of spring and fall when the length of day and night is nearly equal? Miss Chrysler. The Equinox. There it is. In 2011, a meme was created starring what animal with a Pop Tart body riding a rainbow? Me. Me. Okay. That's absolutely right. Cat is right. You broke the ice for the students. Well done. What is the term for an arc that is equal to 180 degrees? Akia. Um. Oh my God. I don't know why people getting this. Oh no, we blank. Teachers goes to you. How do we feel about a semicircle was the correct answer there. What is the full name of the Al-Qaeda leader, Al leader who claimed responsibility for the September 11th attacks on America? Marie. Osama bin Laden. Good. In the NFL, the Falcons represent what city? Mr. Springle. Atlanta. And that is it for Pop Quiz. All right, okay. We got off the blocks. Both teams got moving. 40 for the teachers, 20 for the students. But that is it for Pop Quiz. Hey, we're off to a great start. Thank you for joining us today. We have a big game ahead of us because we have students and teachers from the Philadelphia Electrical and Technology Charter High School. You guys are located in Center City, right? Right in the middle of the city? Yeah. $500 is on the line. I hope you guys can win that. Uh, Zakia, you're a 10th grader in the school. Congrats on team Thank captain, you. by the way. Look <laughs> at you leading this team into victory today. 500 if you win that, where are we going to put it? Women's shelter. Awesome. A great place to put that money. So great. Pumped to be here. This one is super positive. Why do you want to be here so badly? I love what you said earlier. I like healthy competition. Healthy competition. <laughs> well, you found it, especially against these three teachers over here, right? Yeah. All right, well, good luck. Off to a good start. Namir, my man is in 11th grade, and he said, Richard, I got to tell you something. I'm not a nerd. I'm an ultra nerd. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, stop right there. Don't tell me anymore. What is an ultra nerd? An ultra nerd knows a lot more than any regular nerd. We are about everything. <laughs> Like everything? Everything. And, and we doesn't even we don't even need to get to details. It's just everything. Uh-huh. Any, anything a nerd should know, we know a lot more. All right, man. That's that's why it's called an ultra nerd. <laughs> Nari, ninth grader, I'm loving what you're doing because dude, you love broadcasting, right? Yeah, that's right. So you do that at school? Uh yes, at the school actually. And what do you and what do you do? What are you hoping to become someday in the broadcasting world? Uh I hope to become an actor. All right, nice. You got a face <laughs> to be an actor. Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, a, like a young Denzel right there. <laughs>
<laughs> you know what you're doing. Good luck today, guys. Yeah. Yeah. All right, Mr. Springle, we got to do this quick, man. That lip thing took way too much time. Yeah. All right, $500, guys, if you win it, where's that going to go? Uh, we'd like to use it for a scholarship for one of our deserving seniors. That's a year. perfect place to put it. Everybody sitting in, in uh, the auditorium watching this right now know that 500 could be yours, so good luck on yeah. that one. Uh, all right, social studies teacher, and your best friend is watching from home right now. Tell us who that is. Uh, that's our dog, Alfie. Yeah, and he's just sitting <laughs> on the couch eating chips watching you guys play right now? Yeah, probably. He's probably missing us for a few hours. Today, Alfie, but don't we'll you poop on the him. rug. We know where you live. <laughs> All right, Miss Chrysler, good to see you. You're a science teacher. You're a huge fan of Philly, right? Yes, absolutely. Do, All Philly sports teams. Favorite team? Eagles. Go, absolutely. Bir go birds. Go we can birds. get behind that. All right, absolutely. well, go teachers right now, right? And uh, Miss Frost, our <laughs> art teacher, who keeps the students guessing, tell them what you do. Uh, so I change my hair color like every three months. What was the, what was the last color? Uh, black, blue, and green. Wow! Yeah. Like, that's pretty intense. And the hair survives that? Yeah. What color is it right now? Uh, it's like a fuchsia color. Yeah, yeah, and it's kicking butt right now on TV. <laughs> so, guys, good Thank luck. You. you got three great kids over there, but someone has to win that 500. And we're starting with detention. Game's on. Hey, Nuri, watch this. <laughs> was that as good or no? It wasn't as good? Uh, it, was team, okay. <laughs> it was okay. I'll work on it. Team, swing your buzzers down. You're going to work together on this one. This is how detention is going to work. I'm going to give the students a category. You are the trailing team right now. As a team, you're going to have 10 seconds to decide whether you want to play or pass that over to the other side. If you choose to play, you answer the questions correctly. You can send any member of the other team to detention. But if you get it wrong, they can send one of you, and you got to take the long, lonely walk to detention. But if you pass, the other team has to answer the question, and you just hope they get it wrong. All right, the first team to send everyone to detention, win this round. 40 points is on the line here. Anybody could be in the lead right after this one. We're playing this game, so here we go. Category is math. Can I take it? Oh, take it. We'll take it. What letter represents the vertical axis on a coordinate plane? You can talk about it. All right, um, the Y axis? I heard X, and you guys are like, nope, it's Y, and that is right. <laughs> well done, guys. Way to talk through that one. And here's why it gets even better, because I have three smiling teachers who one of them has to be eliminated. Who, which one are we eliminating? Sprinkle. Sprinkle. Uh, <laughs> she said <laughs> Yeah, you said that with a little pep in your ear. You were like, Springle? Get out of the game, Springle. <laughs> All right. Teachers, back to you. Category okay. is flags. Okay. Player pass. Oh, pla you want to play or pass? Okay, we're going to pass. Here we go, guys. They're like, oh, no, flags. Okay, here we go. The national flag of Japan has a white background with a central disc of what color? Red, 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 red. 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 The pass came back to haunt the teachers. <laughs> Chrysler and Spross, they said they didn't want it. The teachers did not get it right. The students did. So you guys have the opportunity to take a commanding lead of this round right here. Chrysler and Spross, who's going? Miss Spross. Miss Spross. Miss Spross, out of the game. Sorry, girl. Detention is next for you. All right, students, category is back to you. Okay. All right, here we go. Category is movies. Play or pass? Yes, play it. What is the first and last name of the La La Land and first man actor who shares a name with a baby goose? I don't know that at all. We don't know. <laughs> All right, guys, we're taking the L on this one. We're looking for Ryan Gosling. Yeah, he's, he's, uh, he's the beautiful version of an actor. So Ryan Gosling's incorrect, guys. So uh, you get sent to detention, and Miss Chrysler, you're holding on okay. for dear life. So who's going to go? One of these three has to make the trip. Namir. Namir, the middle man, out of the game. <laughs> Okay, we're down to two students and one teacher as we move into the category of history. Play or pass? I'm gonna pass. Here we go. 
What is the name of the essay written by Thomas Paine that tried to convince people to fight for independence? <laughs> oh, my God. I don't know. Oh, my God. Three? Uh, nothing? I don't got nothing. Oh. Sorry, guys. Unfortunately, common sense was the answer. And that is not going to do well for you guys because we went from three to two. No. Miss Chrysler with a beautiful pass. <laughs> and now we're down to one. So who's going to go to detention? Nari. <laughs> Nari out of the game. Sorry, pal. Long walk. Yeah. You're the closest one. Hey, guys. We're all biting our nails here a little bit because we're going into this final category. It's going to be for you, okay? Okay. Sports. Player pass. <laughs> All right. Here we go, Miss Chrysler. For the win in baseball, mm -hmm. what position stands behind home plate and is responsible for receiving all the pitcher's throws to the batter? The catcher. The catcher is right. The pass is hurt. I'm sorry, the kid. You got to go to the teacher. Teachers, you're free to go. Scores 80 points for the teachers, 20 for the students. Hey, we're going to be coming right back. See how well those spelling skills are. Don't go anywhere. In the classroom today, we have students and teachers from Philadelphia Electrical and Technology Charter High School in Center City. I love this place, battling it out. The scores right now, teachers, 80 points on the board. Students have 20, and there's still plenty of time left in this game for anyone to win this thing. We're getting right back into it with no help. We're going to spell check. Here's how the game will work. We have two minutes on the clock. When I call your name, guys, step up to the microphone. I'm going to give you a word to spell. Ten seconds to do it. If you get it correct, you stay in the game, back of the line, and you live to spell again. But if you say a wrong letter at any point, well, you're out of there. So be very careful. If your team eliminates everyone from the other side, you're going to win 30 points. Students, we need that 30 points. If the two minutes runs out, every player left standing, I'm going to give 10 points just for making it through that two minutes. So let's do it. Let's see if we can play a little spell check. Mr. Springle, we're going to start with you. Brown. B-R-O-W-N. Going to you. Virus. B-I-R-U-S. Quam. Q-U-A-L-M. Legion. L-E-G-I-O-F. Denote. D-E-N-O-T-E. -E. Adverse. A-D-V-E-R-S-E. -E. Good job. Cheetah, Mr. Springle. C-H-E-E-T-A-H. -E Obscure. Okay. O-B-S-Q-U-R-E. Sorry, you were close. Militant. M I L L. -I. Sorry, down to Miss Chrysler. You're out of there. <laughs> Namir, expedite. E X P I. Out of the game, Namir. Down to our last speller on the student side, Nari. Honorary. H O N O R A R Y. Okay, Miss Bra, staying in the game. Here we go. Got to spell this one right here. Okay. Tantalize. T A N T L A A L. Sorry, Nuri. Namir put his head down. He's like, nope, not getting that. <laughs> hey, let's recap our scores. Teachers up to 110, students with 20. But we're not done yet, and there's still plenty of game left. Picture day is next, followed by that all important. Here's when they can come back the final exam. Classroom still in session when we come back. Classroom. Today we have students versus teachers from Philadelphia Electrical and Technology Charter High School in Center City, right in the middle of the city. Hey, and I've made my way out into the crowd because look who we have here. This is David. David, you're the president of this school, right? right yeah. And I asked these ladies over here, I was like, what's that mean? And they were like, absolutely nothing. <laughs> He's like, but I do run a lot of meetings. So you know a little bit about time here. Yeah. Are the students running out of time right now? No, they got this. They got it. They, they got can it. make them mount the comeback, right? They're behind 20 points on the board for them. Teachers got a little bit more points, 110, but final exams coming up, and you know, when we're students, what happens in final exam? 
We ace it. We ace that final exam. Let's take that love into picture day. Come on, everybody. <laughs> What an interview. I got to interview a school president. I love that. He runs meetings. All right, grab your buzzers. You're going to need them here, guys. We're going to show you all a picture of a famous person, place, or thing, and we covered them with boxes. I'm going to give you three clues, and with each clue, I'm going to, I'm going to deliver three more of those uncovered boxes to you. The first person to buzz in, correctly identify that picture, is going to win 10 points for their team. Students, this is where we crawl right back into it. If you get it wrong, a member of the other side is going to have a chance to buzz in and steal those points. We have three pictures today. Everybody put your smile on, because Picture Day is right now. Looking for the first and last name here on Picture One. This person is close friends with Scarlett Johansson. Clue number two, this actor has memorized all the lyrics to the Little Mermaid songs. A heck of a claim to fame. Clue number three, he plays a Marvel superhero who carries a shield. Zakia. Captain America. Oh. We're looking for the actor oh. name. Uh, I'm sorry. Teachers for the steal, Miss Frost. Chris Evans. Is that my man Chris Evans? Ah, that's exactly who it is. You had it. You had it. It was in your grasp. Okay, picture number two is flying at us. Let's see it. This is one of the seven wonders of the medieval world. Clue number two, three more boxes. This structure was originally built as a wartime defense. Mr. Springle. The Great Wall of China. Is that the Great Wall of China? It is the Great Wall of China. Students, you guys knew it. I saw you a little late on the buzzers. Let's see if we can get you back into the game on picture number three. This athlete has an endorsement deal with Adidas. <laughs> Clue number two, you may know him for his beard. Mr. Springle. James Harden. Is that James Harden? That's exactly who the beard is. That is my man, James Harden. And teachers commanding lead, 140, students 20. Both teams still have a chance, though, because we're going into the final exam, and they studied. Let's do it. Okay, the topic of today's final exam is World War I. I'm going to ask both teams three questions about our final exam topic. Each correct answer is worth 100 points to your score. Teams, you're going to work together. Write down your answers during the commercial break, so no writing quite yet. Here are your three final exam questions. Number one, what is the name for the long, deep ditches dug as protective defenses during combat in World War I? In a 2017 movie, what superhero famously crossed no man's land during World War I? Finally, question number three on the final exam. In the Zimmerman telegram, Germany offered what country the return of lost territories like Arizona and Texas if they became a German ally? Three tough questions, and we know each one of those is worth 100 points for their score. 60 seconds is officially on the clock. In just a couple of minutes, we're going to see which team aces this final exam. Ranks first right here in the classroom. But hey, we always have a good time down here. You want to be a part of the classroom? Here's how you can do it. Does your school want to be part of a game show pitting students against teachers? If you're a principal or an authorized school official, go to theclassroom.com for more information on how to get on the show. Welcome back into the classroom. Today we have students and teachers from Philadelphia Electrical and Technology Charter High School going head to head. The scores, I hate to say it, but teachers, they have been dominating this game. 140 in the bank. Students with 20. But guys, I love this, and here's why. Students always study and cram for that final exam. The topic of today's final exam, it's World War I. We love that. Before we went to break, I asked both teams three questions about World War I. With 300 possible points still left up for grabs, we're going to see who can do this ace 
their final exam, take that money and their bragging rights back to school. So here we go. The first question on the final exam is this. What is the name for the long, deep ditches dug as protective defenses during combat in World War I? Let's find out the answer. Nari, you guys are down. You need this. You said? Trenches. Trenches is right. There's 120 points on the board. Okay, teachers, we're going to you, Miss Spross. We also said trenches. Trenches is right. Nicely done. 240. Moving into question two, students, you have to get this right to keep pace. If the teachers get this right, however, the game is over. So here's the question. In a 2017 movie, what superhero famously crossed no man's land during World War I? Suits, we're going to go to you, Namir. Got to get this right. You said? Wonder Woman. My ultra nerd, ultra right. Yeah. Bringing you up to 220. Keeping pace. And here it comes. Miss Chrysler, it all comes down to this. $500 on the line. If you guys can tell me who crossed no man's land during World War I, you said? We also said Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman. So $500 is going home with the teachers today. Hey, Zimmerman Telegram, we're looking for Mexico there. Teachers, come on out here and get your cash. I hope you guys had a good time here today. Join us next time. We've got a brand new school right here in the classroom.